Hello there and welcome to Coley's Garden. Today is the 18th of July. It's a damp day here today in the northeast of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to give you an update on the recent changes that I made to Coley's patio garden. So if you watch my previous video, which was a couple of hours ago, you would have seen me giving this area over here to the left a complete makeover by creating a new rock raised garden bed. So in the video previously, I did state that I might make a few further changes by extending the raised garden bed. And I have done that there just a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour so you can see the final results. So as you can see, it's looking so much better now that it's a full extended raised garden bed. This will allow me to plant lots of shrubs, wildflowers and crops. As you can see, I've already done that. But I did also have to widen the pathway because this log stepper was somewhere out here, which was kind of blocking the pathway. But it worked out for me really well. Plus, I was able to use some of the topsoil for in here, so I didn't have to go to the forest section to get that, which is great. That kind of sped up everything. I did have to use some rocks from various parts around the land. Again, you'll notice that a few rocks are missing in some areas, but I will replace them with other smaller rocks. But as you can see, what a transformation. It's so much better now. I'm much happier with this rather than the half-raised garden bed. So I'm just going to show you what I've planted in here since I've made those changes. So I did transplant this red currant. This was growing somewhere over here, which was not really benefiting me because it was going to be in the way of the path. So that will grow beautifully in here. I did plant some more nasturtiums. As you can see, I planted some chives. I planted some rush, mainly because this grows to be a beautiful big shrub, so it will fill in a good majority of the space. I've also planted some more of the borage. I transplanted some mint through plant layering that came from the triangle raised garden bed over here. I did plant another pear tree that I found in the forest. So I have two pear trees in this raised garden bed now. And mainly for fruit, but also to add some autumn interest once the leaves change color. So I also planted some sage, which is another beautiful edible shrub and I also planted some thyme. So my goal in the next couple of days now is to plant lots of perennials for different seasons um, to give me different colors throughout the year. And I may even plant some more like chrysanthemums in here if I have the space to do so. So absolutely really, really impressed with this makeover. And as you can see, we are on a slope. The land slopes all the way down to the sea in the far distance. So everything looks like it's downhill, but that's why I didn't raise the wall up too much on this side because we are on a slope. So absolutely really happy with this makeover. And of course the Rosa Gorsa is going to do really well in here. So I will have to come back and place a few rocks in between these. As you can see, there's a few gaps along the way, but that's okay. There's nothing major to worry about, but it'll actually give me better vision now for my pathways. It'll be easier for me to maintain the weeds um, by hand because we do everything by hand. We don't use any chemicals on the land. So it'll give me a better vision of the pathway. And like I said in my previous videos, all our pathways are four foot wide and that's kind of giving me a straight line now just so I can see where I'm going, you know. Plus it's actually really benefited me by planting more shrubs in the garden. So I might continue the raised garden bed beyond here just to kind of separate this from the vegetable garden patch, as you can see. So I've got lots of garden rooms going on now, and this has definitely completed this garden room, as you can see. It's looking so much better. And like I said, I don't know if I said in my previous video, but I'm going to dedicate this spot to a red currant. I probably did. So that's what I'm going to be putting in here in time to come. So yes, I'm very happy with this. So I might be encouraged now to continue this rock retaining wall all the way down we'll see might have to make further changes for that one to happen but either way this has been on my mind for a very very long time and now i've finally completed this makeover and i couldn't be happier so i think the bench actually looks really nice here so if you're just standing over here you will get to see everything plus when you're sitting here you can smell all the beautiful lavender so it's really nice so when the sun faces me, you know, I'll get to see all this beauty as well in the garden. 
which will be really really nice so that's it for today's video. That's the final completion of the Cowley's Patio Garden. Plus the birds are going to love it. I've seen some robins and wrens earlier just picking around in there for worms. So there's lots of rich organic matter in there. So they're going to be very happy with that. And hopefully they'll be able to plant me some seeds in time to come. Yeah, can you hear him whistling? Very, very happy. Yeah, so it's good for me and it's good for them. It's good for all of us, actually. Thanks very much for watching and God bless.